Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. This is one of those, oops, now we gotta fix it kind of things. Um, I cut a hole in the wall here, there's a plaster wall, for a new door going into one of the bedrooms and sawzalls can be a little brutal and it grabbed hold of some of the lath here in an unkind way, let's just say, and a big piece of plaster boom, falls out. So the question here is, how do you fix this? Do you just patch this? But this is loose. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. Um, there's actually a sheetrock repair down here already. So I'm gonna cut a big rectangle of this out and drop in one piece of sheetrock. Because rather than trying to like detail this so this all is all smooth and these all come together nicely, I'm gonna take it all out, put a piece of sheetrock, and it's done, all right? Uh, removing plaster is kind of icky and ugly, so I wear a mask, cover everything, because it will get everywhere. So I'm just going to go across here and then down. You can see the lath that holds in the plaster. And this comes off in big chunks. And that goes on your tarp. Oops. Remember to wear eye protection and a mask. This stuff usually comes off in big chunks and just throw it into a trash bag. Oh, neat. See those ridges? That's where the plaster engages with the lath. That's the lath, the wooden stuff there. That's over 100 years old. All right, here's our cut sheetrock, and I'm going to trim down a little bit of this edge to get it to fit up in that, which of course is not square. All right, I had to shave down the edges a little bit. I always like to bevel the edge where it's going to meet the plaster for a little smoother uh, seam. Look, like I know what I'm doing or something. Here's our compound. I like to mix this stuff up really creamy and just go back and forth over it, kind of making it like, kind of like Cool Whip. Just kind of making it like a lightweight frosting. I just mixed up my blade. If you've done some hole filling before, I think you can do this. Um, don't put a ton on the first layer. It's going to shrink. Just, I like these really flexible blades. These are actually Italian plaster blades that I bought online. You just want to get the compound in that space. You could even put some uh, nylon mesh on here if you want. This is mesh tape. It's a plastic netting that goes across big gaps when you're doing wall repairs. It has a little bit of a stickiness to it, so it lays right on, and it works really well for bridging big gaps. Makes the strong, makes the repair stronger. But the first coat is not going to look beautiful. What do you think? It looks better. A little bit of improvement than the giant gash in your wall. So my point here is, um, if you have to repair some kind of giant gash, think about doing a clean cut and just putting in a piece of sheetrock. Because this visually, I mean, you know, this will all make it look beautiful, of course, but it's kind of out of your eye line rather than trying to do a repair that's right here, you know. And then down here, I can hide the seam in right with the chair rail here. We're just gonna lay in a bead of uh, paintable high quality caulk right here. Do the corner and we're done. What about the side? This? Yeah. Oh, we're gonna put trim here. It's gonna be wood trim, nice wood trim. 
All right, there you go. Thank you for watching. Again, if you have any questions or anything, just ask them below here. Just want to show you a different way of doing a plaster repair. If you're not the greatest plasterer. Are you not the greatest plasterer? No. And if you like what you're seeing here, you want to hit the subscribe button maybe. There's a red button here that says subscribe. Also, you can watch the Labradors. They have their own YouTube channel as well. You like my work, girls? Is that a yes? Yeah, that was a yes. It didn't look like a yes. All right. Make it a great day. I'll see you later. You like that? You, you like that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Henry. <laughs>